All right, we are getting some news just coming in. UDM Deputy Chairperson and Member of the Provincial Legislature in the Eastern Cape, Mfadisi Filtane, has passed away. This is according to UDM leader Banto Olamisa, who announced news of Filtane's passing through a media release on his social media account. Olamisa says Filtane died of COVID-19 after being admitted to hospital on Friday with low oxygen levels. Feltane died in the early hours of this morning. For more on the passing of uh, Feltane, we are joined live via the telephone by the UDM leader, General Bantu Holomisa. Uh, General, our deepest, deepest condolences to, goes out to you, the Feltane family, as well as his friends and colleagues. Uh, tell us more about his passing. Well, Mr. Feltane was... Uh quarantined a, a, a week or two ago, as you have already said, uh, on Friday, then he was admitted to hospital. Uh, we have lost a, 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 a great person. Uh, we have lost a gentleman and indeed a father. Mr. Filtane is well known in the circles of uh, business as well as in politics in South Africa. He was a business person before he joined the UTM. And then we deployed him at national parliament uh, in the first term. And then uh, after 2019, we deployed him to Eastern Cape to lead the UTM in the legislature. Uh, by virtue of his experience in the region, uh, we were investing in him to lure more members uh, to the UTM. Uh, sadly, God has decided to take him away, and we pass our condolences to his wife, children, and family, as well as his friends. We will uh, hear this afternoon, I'll be in East London, this afternoon to visit his family. So we'll hear from the family as to what is the next step to be followed. He was a member of the provincial legislature in the Eastern Cape. Talk to us about some of his achievements. And when I say achievements, I mean some of the work that he's done in order to better the lives of the people that he served. Well, I went with... Uh, 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 Mr. Filtane in this field of sport for many years. Mm. And uh, he was a rugby player and rugby official for a team then in Mkata called Wallabies. Uh, out of that, uh, he was uh, a businessman, as I've said. Mm. And for the UTM, we have been campaigning with him all over. And uh, even in the last, uh, at the beginning of the pandemic, uh, Corona, uh, uh, COVID-19 pandemic, uh, we were together distributing uh, the required material, which uh, we raised uh, in the, or not less than what, 31 hospitals mm. in the Eastern Cape. Uh, we distributed PPE. And uh, that is the highlight I can uh, mention, other than going and address rallies and so on. Right. This must be such a, a difficult time for uh, the UDM. Just recently, you buried another stalwart uh, of the party, Mongameli Bobani, and reportedly he also passed on due to COVID-19 related complications. Just tell us more about how the party is handling these, these two uh, passing away uh, of the, the two stalwarts of the party? Uh, it's going to take some time for us to recover from this tragedy. Uh, it's not a small thing. You will recall that earlier we lost uh, our spokesperson uh, in the province, Mabandla Koko, mm. and then Bobani, and now uh, Mr. Filtane. Uh, it's a deep wound, and uh, it is going to need uh, some 
uh, brains to get together and find a, and, and 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 find a way forward. For now, I cannot lie to you. I don't know what would one say as a way forward mm. in terms of uh, uh, filling the 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 the, 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 the these posts for with uh, good people, so that they can continue to emulate the works which were done by them. COVID-19 is really taking a toll in provinces like the Eastern Cape. Already, the numbers I've, uh, I've got in front of me, over 4,000 people have lost their lives. And in terms of active cases, there's about 10,412 active cases so far. So it's actually leading in terms of active cases in the country. Uh, what are you and your party doing in order to try to put pay to the infection rates in that, in that part of the world? We continue to say people must be careful, people must be disciplined, people must uh, follow the rules as published by the government. And uh, practically, as I've said, we fundraised and distributed the TPE to no less than 32 uh, medical institutions in the Eastern Cape right at the beginning. I'm sure people saw that on TV and social media. And we continue to say people must be must must stick to the to, to, to the guidelines. But uh, you need to also to in fact what you are seeing in the Eastern Cape, there's a problem with the health facilities. Even if people, for instance, they are coughing, they go to these clinics, then give them a panado, headache, panado coughing, panado, mm. running stomach, panado. So the Eastern Cape, unfortunately, it, uh, it looks like it's a, it's a, it's an, uh, it's a forgotten uh, province. I'm sorry to say that. I don't know the reason. Could be leadership, could be corruption. But if you come to our facilities, for us as a, as a small party, opposition party, to go and fundraise at the beginning of this pandemic, mm in order to fill the gap which was left by the government. There were no clubs, there was, there was nothing. I'm sorry. Right. Look, it's uh, seemingly a concerning issue in the Eastern Cape and you know, in the absence of a vaccine, which there is some development with regards to the Pfizer and the Moderna vaccines. But in the absence of that, all we have, I guess, is the health protocols, isn't it? Uh, although they are yeah. not complete prophylaxis, in terms of wearing a mask, washing your hands and watching your distance, it's all we have at this stage. But, so we thank you very much indeed for, for coming on. Once again, our deepest condolences go out to you thank and you. your colleagues. Be well. Thank you. Bob. All right. That was uh, General Banto Alamisa, the, the leader of the UDM.